comes a danger up in this club When we get started, man, we ain't gon' stop We gon' turn it out till it gets too hot Everybody sing, hey, yo Tell them turn it out till they can no more Let's get this thing shaking like a disco ball This is your last one on the courtesy call Everybody sing, hey, yo Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Anime Rage, welcome back to my channel, and uh, this is uh, you know, I'm in a My Hero mood, you know, I caught up with episode 7 and stuff, you know, nothing, they ain't going too wild out with it yet, but, you know, I was just watching it, and I just thought to myself, like, why don't I make a what if or something, since I ain't got nothing else better to do today, so. Uh, with this new topic, uh, for the redo of Halo 1, I need to rewatch some stuff because some things are kind of wishy washy in my head a bit. So, yeah, for those who have seen it completely through, uh, just tell me some stuff and how, like, do you want a specific point, plot point to go a specific way? I'll be all ears in the comments down below. So, yeah. So, you know what this one is going to be. What if Deku had the Amari Rasu flames? Now, with this one, uh, Deku is going to be in you know, Uchiha, but he doesn't know that yet. I mean, he will get the Sharion, but later. But right now, he's just going to have the Amari Rasu flames. And... Yeah, and some people are gonna add to the story. Uh, Deku did have a dad. His name was uh, Sasuke Uchiha, but he ended up dying. He ended up uh, dying from the same thing he taught you that uh, ninja sickness, I think it was. So, yeah. But, you know, uh, Deku was still born and stuff and uh inko she got remarried and her last name is now gonna be uh yagi i think that's all my last name yeah and uh all my has his own kid uh izumi yagi so yeah and i'm gonna also put orochimaru in the story he's gonna be kind of like Deku's uncle in, in a way, you know, so yeah With that being said, I think I rambled on a bit enough. Let's get into the what if So, you know, Izuku, he is born to his Loving family, you know Inko Toshinori, I think that's All Might's real name I think, yeah, Toshinori But, uh, yeah so, you know, Zuko's born. And, you know, he has a caring stepfather and a loving stepsister. And has a kind mom. And, you know, he is very grateful to be living in. Having such a happy life with his family. But, you know, this will change a certain day when the Zuko turns four years old. So, you know, we can see the family of three waiting patiently in the doctor's office. One was... Izuku who has black hair and black eyes and you know he was holding an All Might figure and getting excited just cause he wanted to see what was his court going to be so he can become a hero and you know the other kid was Izumi Yagi Izuku's uh, slightly older sister slightly you know she had blonde hair with uh, green eyes greenish eyes I should say you know, she was also very excited to see what her court was going to be. So, yeah. So, you know, they've been waiting a bit. And, you know, the doctor came into the room carrying a small file with some documents of Izuku and Izumi. And, you know, he kind of wore a... Actually, you know what? No. I'm going to make the doctor a, a female. Just because I don't want that one doc 
Doctor. Uh, for those who haven't seen the latest My Hero manga, you know what I'm talking about. But for those who haven't, I'm just going to not say anything else. But let's just say it's a different Doctor and canon. Alright? Alright. So, she's sat down in her chair and turned towards the family. And he asked, uh, she asked, how are y'all doing today? The doctor asked, we're doing well. And the kids are very excited to see what their quirks are. Inko says with a small smile on her face. You know, the doctor sighed. Alright, then, let's test them out. So, you know, they go through some tests and stuff. And she says that both of them have very strong quirks. And Inko, you know, she smiled to hear that her family or her kids ish are going to be powerful heroes or supposed power powerful heroes so the doctor says for izuku he has a powerful fire manipulation cord called the amari rasu flames and you know inko she knows what the amari rasu flames she's seen sasuke do it a few times you know the doctor's playing is a Indistinguishable black flames that's hotter than the sun so yeah and so she talks about uh izumi that she has a very very strong telekinesis cord and a uh enhancer type cord it's a not a strong enhancer cord but it's a small enhancer cord due to all my heaven one for all and stuff so yeah you know both Izumi and Izuku they're happy they're jumping around and stuff saying that they're both gonna be powerful heroes so time skip you know Izuku and his mom and his sister just arrived back at home and, you know All Might just sitting on the couch watching some uh what will All Might be, be watching uh Maggie and the Labyrinth. Why not? Because I, I enjoy that show. So, you know, he sees them walking in. You know, Inko, Izumi, Izuku all have happy looks on their faces. And he asks, so, how'd it go? And Inko says that Izuku has a very strong fire manipulation cork and Izumi has a very strong telekinesis cork. She says, smile. And so, you know, both of them, they're happy. They're having a having a pretty good time and so you know they go out they have some some nice pizza so yeah you know we time skip to the next day Izuku has been doing some research for he just trying to look up some different forms of martial arts so he can make himself stronger and so you know Izuku has been doing some research for about an hour when he heard a knock on the door you know, he got it from his desk chair, opened up, and saw Izumi. And, you know, she got that, uh, what's that word? Uh, Phineas and Isabella vibe, you know, always just asking, what is he doing? And, you know, he always got to, like, explain what he's doing. So, yeah. You know, she's, he explains that he's just looking up some martial arts for him to be doing. And she's like, all right, well, when you get through with enough, let me see what you're doing. So maybe you can teach me a few things. And Izuku's like, all right, bet. As you know, he's get back on his computer looking a bit. And so, you know, him, he feels a small pain in his eyes, but he didn't pay it that much of a mind and thought it was probably like an eyelash or something. So, yeah. Time skip, you know, Izumi and Izuku arrive at school. And uh, Izuku told Izumi that, you know, he wanted to be alone, have some time to himself. And uh, yeah, uh, you know, she went to her own friends, which were Bakugo and uh. I'm gonna say Bakugo has a twin sister. Just just because I can. And uh yeah, you know, uh Bakugo and uh Well, Koski and K 
Kasuki, I should say. You know, they just all talk, you know, they all chilling and stuff. And, you know, they all, uh, since they're all still kids, you know, they're all talking like, so, what quirks did y'all get and stuff? And, uh, you know, uh, Izumi, she says that she has a very strong telekinesis quirk. You know, with them being kids, they're like, oh, that's so cool. And, uh, you know, uh, she at uh, Bakugo asks, I mean, both of them, their names would be Bakugo, but you know who I'm talking about. Bakugo asks, so what is uh, Izuku Court? And he said, uh, Izumi says that he has a very strong fire manipulation court. If anything, I think it's probably the hottest that a flame could probably get, she says. And, you know, they're like, oh, that's so cool. And, uh, yeah, you know, they have been, uh, doing some, you know, them being kids. You know, he's like not really trying to really talk to anybody. You know, he's just thinking about other things, spacing out and stuff. So, yeah. Time skip when, uh, Izuku and Izumi got home, their parents were kind of like, you know, happy to see their kids and stuff. And, uh, you know, Izuku, his eyes been bothering him a bit lately. It went from, you know, feeling like an eyelash was in his eye to it feeling like his eyes are just dry all the time. And, uh, you know, uh, Izuku was training with uh, Izumi one time. And, uh, let's just say their training got a bit too hard. I should say. I'm gonna say All Might's there. He's training with them, you know, monitoring them, make sure they don't do anything too, too crazy. And, you know, All Might, he's fighting with them. And let's just say, uh, Izuku got a real good kick to All Might's left side. And, you know, but that kick kind of took All Might down a bit. And so, you know, uh, all Might. He didn't do this on purpose, though. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say this. He didn't do this on purpose. He got a bit too hard of an uppercut on Izuku. So, yeah. And, you know, uh, Izuku. He's holding his jaw. And, you know, his eyes are irritating even more now. And so, he's holding his jaw and his eyes. And he's like, what is going on? And so, uh, and, you know, all my being concerned, he's like, Izuku, are you okay? He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's just my eyes, they've been hurting a lot lately. And, uh, all my's like, well, just go to the bathroom and put some water on there or something. Since he don't really know what to do with that. <clears throat> so, Izuku, you know, he heads to the bathroom. Because his eyes have been bothering him a lot lately. You know, Izuku looks in the mirror and sees that his eyes, which were normally black, are red with two tomos in it. What the? What the hell? Izuku is thinking to himself. So, tell me what you guys think. I'm going to end it right there. Leave a like, comment down below, subscribe. Uh, what's the like go for this? I'll say, since it's kind of early on, I'll say, let's do 12. Yeah, 12. 12 is the like So, comment down below, subscribe, tell me what you think. Tell me, like, if there's any plot points you want into this, I'll be open ears to, and open eyes, I should say, to see what you guys got. Because, you know, you guys be having some pretty good ideas sometimes. So, yeah. This is part one to what if Deku had the Amari Rasu flames and wasn't Uchiha. I don't know if I'm going to put all that in the title, but hey. And so with that being said, I'm out. Shit, I'm back and I'm better than ever. I be dripping no matter the weather. Need more green in my salad, I'm extra. Bunch of hoes in this house like you Hefner. Bunch of gold in my mouth and shit pressure. And I swear I won't fold under pressure. And I'm ten toes the maximum effort. And I keep me a stick of Beretta. And I got me a bitch like Coretta. Yeah, you got shots, but my shot it better. With my bro Nick and his cannon special.